Hello, welcome to my Blender modeling tutorial. Today we are going to model bitter good. It's a vegetable. We are going to model this in uh, Monster Mesh. It's a website. We can uh, we can use this uh, site to create any 2D image into 3D model. So we are not uh, going through the traditional method of modeling. So first of all, we are going to uh, open the image of uh, 2D image of uh, Peter Good in uh, Monster Mesh. import template image go to monster mesh this website and uh, you have to open you have to import the template i already saved uh, this image in my uh, laptop and i am importing this to monster mesh and uh, draw through the edges of uh, this uh, bitter goat it's very easy you can easily convert this 2d image into 3d model most of the modeling works are uh, being done here Now click inflate. See, most of the works are uh, done here. Now, what we have to do is uh, export this uh, image as a GLTF uh, image. Now click export and save save it uh, somewhere in your uh, laptop or PC. Next thing is uh, open Blender. Bring this uh, image of uh, bitter goat. Yeah, before that you have to delete that uh, default cube. With uh, Monster Mesh, we can uh, save a lot of time to create a, a 2D, uh, 3D image, uh, 3D models from 2D image. Such uh, sites and uh, add-ons help us to save a lot of time. Now go to shade editor click shading some of the nodes are already created here so we need not bother about creating separate nodes 
we are just uh, we are just going to give a bump map to this uh, model so click shift a bump then connect it to normal now bring uh, one uh, image texture node shift a then uh, search for image texture connect it to height then open one uh, image of uh, bitter goat to this uh, node it's a black and white uh, image of uh, this particular image you can create it in uh, GIMP or uh, Photoshop it's very easy bring that black and white image to image texture do some ticks in uh, bump uh, node until you get uh, the perfection and if you feel that uh, the edges are not uh, perfect you can uh, edit it in edit mode you can uh, correct it in edit mode Now uh, what we have to do is uh, bring one uh, uh, background to this particular uh, model. I am going to bring uh, one HDR image. For that uh, go to shade and uh, select world. Then uh, shift A then bring uh, environment texture. See now it's on the top of a table. We can uh, adjust the size and uh, if you want uh, we can make one uh, uh, plate or uh, something like that to put, put this um, bitter good. So the scene will be more uh, interesting, more uh, beautiful and I am going to duplicate it. I am not going to model plate and all you can do that and if you feel that uh, you, you need a shadow if you need a shadow you can bring one shadow catcher to give more originality to the scene That's all for today. Thank you. Thanks for watching my video. See you next time. Bye.